Why no contact works on guys. If your man wants to break up with you or he already did, let him. He will come back to you soon enough. How so? By initiating a no contact period. That's right. Cutting all means of communication may sound the opposite of what you should do, but when it comes to changing the psychology and expectation of men, going no contact is the best way. Be patient and resist communicating with your ex for a minimum of 30 days. Watch them chase after you. If you're still not sure about the miracles no contact can do for your relationship, stay tuned as we're discussing the benefits and reasons why no contact works on guys. Number one, no contact takes away their control. By you being present after the breakup, your ex knows he can still count on you. This makes him feel in control. He knows you still love him, and that makes him think he can have you as soon as single life doesn't feel so good anymore. When people break up with other people, certain assumptions get formed. Usually, that assumption is, she is still in love with me, I can have her anytime I want. The problem with that assumption is that every time you reach out, do a favor, or say something nice to your ex, it feeds that belief that he has that you are still in love with them. Essentially, you become a known entity. The no contact rule makes you an unknown one. Instead of talking to him whenever he wants, you start to shift the paradigm by not talking to him. When he reaches out to test the water, you ignore him. His reality becomes shaken. He has to reprocess what he thinks he knows. All of this goes a long way towards creating curiosity. Number two, the act of surprise. In life, in general, people create patterns that make everyday life more comfortable. The importance of patterns can be practically demonstrated through the no contact rule as well. Think about it. Throughout your relationship with your ex, you established a particular communication pattern, right? Maybe you texted every day. Perhaps you saw each other every day. Whatever it was, it was your communication pattern. But breakups interrupt that pattern, and that's the reason why your world collapsed after the breakup. However, in order to restore the balance, you need to discontinue the new pattern that has been forming with the breakup. And that's when no contact can help you tremendously. He was expecting you to be there for him, to love him, and to reply to his texts even after the breakup. But you don't, so this change of pattern now bothers your ex to the point where they can't think of anything else other than the fact you aren't talking to each other, to the point where he has to reach out and start chasing you instead. Number three, no contact brings back his interest in you. As human beings, we all strive for comfort and the known. Our life becomes more and less predictable, our relationships and work. This simplifies our day-to-day -day tasks and takes the guessing out of our activities. However, as much as the comfort zone is enjoyable, it comes a time when people want to break out of it. And that sometimes means breaking up a relationship. In this case, the no contact rule forms unpredictably, which in turn will spark his interest in you. You are no longer that same person you were in the relationship. You see, in theory, human beings require two things to be happy in a relationship predictability and unpredictability both in balance to make a relationship thrive. So if your relationship started to err on the side of predictability more than unpredictability, it's time to turn the situation on its head and use the no contact rule to bring balance. If you have a history of being very predictable in your time together, then it's time for you to do something unpredictable. This will show him that you are not the same person you used to be in the relationship and that you won't tolerate him treating you like a plan B. Number four, it revives attraction. The old saying rings true that we don't know what we have until it's gone. We don't appreciate air until we are strangling, and we don't appreciate heat unless we are cold and vice versa. Just as is true with so many other things, we don't appreciate someone emotionally until we no longer have them in our life. So going no contact on him will allow him to notice the role you play in his life. Simply said, no contact will enable him to miss you and realize how much you mean to him. No contact basically makes your guy appreciate you and your input in the relationship. You bring the act of surprise once you stop all means of communication with him, which makes him more interested in you. It's reverse psychology that works quite well for the majority of people 
who were broken up with. One of my female friends just recently went through a breakup with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend stood up in front of her and said, I'm breaking up with you. Her heart dropped. It was like a dagger stabbed her in the heart. She felt ugly, insecure, and sad all the time. She felt devastated. She had no idea the relationship was on the brink of breaking up. The next week she spent in bed crying over him. All she wanted was for everything to be back to normal again and his arms wrapped around her. She wanted him back and she started becoming a little desperate. She tried becoming more sexual with him, tried making him jealous with other men and even no contact without it working at all. It actually pushed him more away than getting him closer. Then she learned a couple of simple psychological triggers that work on all men. The way she would win her ex back was to use these psychological triggers in the right order at the exact right time over a couple of weeks. A couple of times per week she would feed her ex these psychological triggers in person, through text, and on social media. At the same time as winning her ex back, there was another man. She had had a crush on him for years, and he just got single. This guy was everything she wanted, but he was never interested in her like that. Well, what if she tested these psychological triggers on her crush as well? After a week of dripping these psychological triggers into the guys in her life, nothing new happened, but she could instantly see that these triggers started changing their behavior. At the end of the month, she had both men standing in line wanting her. At the drop of a hat, she was the one with all the control. She had finally gained her power back, felt more confident, strong, sexy, and in control than ever before. Now she knew exactly how she could get men to chase her, and she would use these psychological triggers to build a stronger and better relationship than before because she didn't know what men actually secretly wanted. I don't know whether you want to learn these simple psychological triggers or not. If you want to learn what they are, you might want to click the link in the description now. You don't need to click the link in the description now. It's just that you'll learn exactly how to get men to chase you, even if you think all hope is lost. It's truly something to check out. If you're running out of options and you have no idea what to do right now, click the link in the description. Also, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel because you'll get notified of every new Modern Love Potion video. If you're having troubles with love and men, you should watch our three best videos by tapping the screen now. They might solve your love problems instantly, kind of like drinking a Modern Love Potion that will make him fall at your feet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.